all right guys welcome back to another video i am here in good morning at mckinley marina and what we are going to do is attempt to go out here and cast cranks for staging big browns and when you're casting cranks you never know you might get some steelhead you might get pike musky walleye bass everything eats crankbait in the fall water temps are like 55 i came out here this week i started catching good on crank so we'll, this week's video is we are going to take the alumacraft and we're going to fish right downtown in my hometown milwaukee wisconsin for world class browns but i got my right hand man andy and you know what i gotta ask andy that famous question so andy are we gonna catch him we're gonna get him all right andy says we're gonna catch him i got my guest big al what's up big al Hey, how you doing? Eric? We got Big Al coming with us today. Al, have you caught many brown trout casting? No. So Al has not caught any browns casting. The goal is to get him a nice big brown casting and teach you guys one of the funnest bites in the fall. Casting square bills for big brown trout coming at you next. All right, guys, so we are on our way out right now, and I just wanted to quickly go over the gear that we are going to be using today. And that just works tremendous for me all fall. So what I've got here is a KBD um, square bill. It's a 1.5. What I do is I switch out the hooks. I put a EWG number four. These are bent. They've caught a few fish, so I'm gonna probably swap that hook out. And then if you notice on, on the baits, what I'm doing right now is I add UV tape. So I got a chunk on there, another piece fell off. So what I do is I just have a scissors. We sell the UV tape, the, the link is in the bio, but UV tape on all my stick baits, crank baits, spoons, try it. It make, adds a lot more flash in the water and definitely seems to help me get more bites. Now I'm just using a regular seven foot medium action rod. You could use medium light, medium. I'm using 10 pound braid. Then I've got a 12 pound or 14 pound about a five foot fluorocarbon leader and um, i'm just using the new pc fawn carbon x 2000 great reel great drag system and really priced well check out the link in the description if you want to check out these new reels we are going to go fishing that is our setup let's go all right so i got my buddy al and andy with me so and i'm just al's never really done the casting for crankbaits for the brown trout so what I just want to do is I just want to quickly go over um, what I would how I'm fishing these square bills because a lot of times what I notice is my guys are fishing them way too fast so let me untangle this real quickly and just make a cast and show you how I fish this bait these baits these 1.5s on an average cast like this are gonna go down about eight feet now the first thing is I like a light drag because the minute you hook a steelhead or a brown, they usually go nuts. They'll fly out of the water. Hey, be quiet. I'm shooting a YouTube video. Hey, have some etiquette. See what I'm dealing with now? More haters. Not only do I deal with the haters. Jeez, I got Andy already fishing in the back. I'm trying to teach you guys how to work this square bill. So look, just a standard retrieve. See this? Standard retrieve. I want to point out, like you can see the rod tip. See how that is just shaking like that? Ba, 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 ba. So just a standard retrieve. But here's what I do a lot of times. I'll give it a little surge, little surge, surge. I don't know if you saw some of the last videos where we were casting for cohos. It's mid-October right now where Andy got a few of his bites. He was surging, then he stopped for a second and pow, they'll smash it. So a lot of times they're gonna eat it when you cast it out steady retrieve right and then just surge it a little bit little surge just steady so you feel that rod tip going pop 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 and hang on pow when you hook them up just hang on you don't have to set the hook hard and just hang on to them fight them fight them you ready yeah yeah okay sure. guys that's how we're fishing Here he comes. Oh my god, he bumped it. Got him, got, got him, him, got him. Yup, I'm on. Grab that camera. Hell yeah, first fish of the day. He bumped it and I missed him. We are on, guys. Oh, nice little brownie. Nice. Eric right. is hooked up. 
All right, we're starting off the day. First little brownie on a square bill. Step oh, on watch something. it. Yep, you're stepping on hooks. Yep. That's my fault. I got hooks all over in the boat. Oh, we are on. Look at this, Andy. Yeah, there's another hook. We got some hooks in the. Al, can you ha help me out there? Thanks, Al. We'll just wait. A nice little mama. Ready and lift her up. There you go. There's one. We are officially not skunked. Whoa! <laughs> and I got a little morning, bit of water. Morning shower. Unhooked again. Chewed up that UV tape already. And there she is. Nice little, nice little brownie. Number one. All right. There you go. We are on the board. Fish number one. Let's go. What happened, Eric? Oh my God, I just missed a 20 pounder. Was that the one that was out here to the left? God. Did you see that? That thing was a giant. I got to put a chesty on. Oh my God. Oh boy. All right, I'll leave it oh, running. Just leave it a, running. That was a Booner Brown right there, guys. A 20 pounder all day. Like, that was a giant brown. That's part of the game though. Right? I mean, hooks are sharp. Look at that. He chewed all that UV tape I put on. I got to put some more UV tape on. Is that this? What happens. Is yeah. This for yeah. I'm going to just cry. You got just put that down and give me some Kleenex. Now I'm going to take a time out. Give me a little nothing little. You need to. What do you, that. Al, what do you suggest in a moment of dire hostile? You know, when it's the bottom of the ninth, Al. Well, it's not the bottom of the ninth, really. It's the bottom of the first inning. The bases were loaded, Al. It's the World Series or. Boone and Crockett Buck comes by me, and I don't know, it just looked like my arrow bounced off the shoulder, Al. Just, just stood there and watched the ball go across the plate. What the hell? Yes, Al's on! Al's on! Yes, come on up front, Al, you got a big one! Giant! Al's got a giant! Come on up front, Andy, grab that other camera. Oh, Al's got a giant! First brown casting, and it's a giant! Take your time, buddy. Nice and easy. Take your time. Oh, sh Al. <laughs> big Al coming through. Oh, big one, buddy. Big one. Easy. Giant. Giant. Oh, my God. Look at this giant brown, Al. Look at this toad. Oh, hold your rod out. Yep, yep. Easy, easy. Yep. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. We got her. Yes, we got her. Yeah, giant! Hell yeah, Al! Hell yeah! Al scores a giant Mama Brown on the square bill with the UV tape, guys. There it is. Your PB Brown, buddy! Yes! Nice. First one, and it's a giant. Let me get, we'll get her unhooked. We'll get some pictures. We'll get her back. Hell yeah, Al! All right, so we just caught this big brown trout. Al's first brown casting. And it's PB, it's a big one. We keep the fish in the water, in the net, if you're gonna let it go. We're gonna let this fish go. So um, we do keep some female browns because brown trout eggs are fantastic and they don't naturally reproduce and some guys like to eat them. I don't really care for brown trout myself. So what I'm gonna do is just show Al, when we're gonna release them, you can re-catch these fish over and over if you take care of them. So I'm gonna grab it by the tail real tight here with my index finger and my thumb. That's where everything is right here by the tail because it'll jump around. And then you're almost going to balance it with your left hand. And so it's tricky with a big fish. So, you know, you just tr want to try not to, to drop it. But uh, I'll hand it off to you. We'll get a couple pictures with me and you. I'll hold it for one with me and you yep. and with Andy taking it. And then I'll hand it off to you. All right. She's ready. She's ready. Ready, big mama? What a beautiful fish. There she goes. All right, number two, throwing square bills. We just started off. Pretty simple technique. Down here in Milwaukee, you can do this. Kenosha, Racine, Sheboygan Harbor, Sheboygan River. The one thing a lot of trout and salmon fishermen guys do not take advantage of. 
is fishing crankbaits, especially in the fall or in the winter. Not just a square bill, but your bass style crankbaits, your jerk baits, all that stuff works for trout. You'll see, nice work. All right. There's one right in front of you there, 35 feet. See him, big one sitting? Yeah. Here he comes. Oh, Pike came right after it. Here he comes. Here he comes, Pike. Got him, Pike. Yup, saw him eat it. That was a pike. That was so cool. He's up too. Double. Doubled up. We're doubled up. Al, I got a pike. Al's, hell yeah. Al's got another big one on. I'm coming by you, Al. What the freak, Al? Nice freaking work. I'm coming back. Al's got another giant. Not a giant, but a nice one. Yep. Hell yeah. That's what we want. We want brown trout. Yes, there's one. Give me some skin, Al. Hell yeah. Oh, I got to get my pike in now. Come here. Exactly. I just want my bait back. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. It's a nice pike. There's some big pike in these harbors and marinas. It's cool. Ready, 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 ready. Ready on. Get him. Oh, yes. We got him, buddy. Look at that. Big pike. Big brown. Isn't that great? Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that, right, Al? So Al's never done this before, right? Al lives right, right close to me in West Dallas. Yeah. What do we got right here? Downtown Milwaukee. We have downtown Milwaukee. It's a weekend. It is a weekend. There's no one taking advantage in this great city. The number one question I get all the time from my customers. We come rolling up into all these spots. They go, how come there's not more people fishing here? I say, I don't know, apparently in Milwaukee, Al, these people like to jog, they like to walk, they like to rent bikes, but they don't like to fish. I don't know. I don't, I don't mind it. it. I yeah. don't mind it. We don't need 800,000. I'm just telling you, <laughs> for you guys that live around here, take advantage of it. It's a world-class fishery. This is all public fishing. You can come on shore anywhere, really, in all your harbors up and down, doing the same technique. It's going to work. Al scored one on again on the... The square bill with the UV tape. I got the UV tape on that square bill. There you go. Everything gets a crankbait, especially in the fall. There you go. There's a double header. We're going to keep Al's little mama for some eggs. I'm going to let that nice little pikey go. Probably a 32 incher. Casting square bills. All right. I'll let Mr. Pikey go. Turn my GoPro on. Oh, my GoPro's not working. Battery must be dead. See you later. There he goes. Yep, there he goes. All right, we'll keep that little one for some eggs and we'll go back to fishing. There's one right on the surface. Oh, he ate, it. he ate it right here on the surface. It's a giant. It's a big one too. Oh, it was right on the surface. That was so cool. Big male, big buck brown, dude. That was so cool. I just ran it right by him and he crunched it. Oh, I love it. Oh my God, look at him right there. So cool. Let's freaking go, boys. Hell yes, big buck brown. Oh yes, I love it. Casting for browns right downtown. Man, he crunched it too. Look at, you can't even see the bait. Oh my god, dude, that was epic. Look at this, he's just shaking his head. Awesome. Right? World class, big browns right downtown. Simple technique, just casting cranks in the fall. All your harbors on the Great Lakes, this is gonna work, try it. And it's so much fun. Look, I love to troll on the Great Lakes, but it is so much fun casting. Catching these beautiful big fish like this casting. Go over here and get him. I don't think he's coming off, but yes, dude, look at that giant buck brown. That swallowed. Yeah, I know he just swallowed that square bill. Now he's now he just woke up. But look at the colors. That's what we want right there. Beautiful fish. Wow. 
shop. He was like two feet down. Look at that square bill just buried in his mouth. Guys, look at that right there. Milwaukee Harbor's finest. Beautiful. Hyped up brown. Nice, beautiful male. We're going to hold him in the water a second. I got a real couple of quick picks. And he is ready. I can feel he's ready to go. You ready, buddy? What a beautiful fish. Look at that. Just amazing. All right, we're going to let him go. See ya. There he goes. All right, another... I don't know, just putting a beat down on them. The, the boys are getting them, I'm getting them. It's a weekend, you know, it's late October right now. Guys are out duck hunting, deer hunting, and we're catching world-class brown trout. Take advantage of the outdoors, baby. Got him? Oh, he's on. I got him. Yes, Andy. I got him. Andy's on. Yeah, nice fish, Andy. Nice job. So Andy, talk about what's been happening the last six or seven fish you had on. Oh, I've had, they've been bumping it. They've been bumping it. But I did change color though. Okay, so there you go. See, saw, he changed color. I saw this fish at 85, it followed it in about 45, left it, cast it back, oh, cast nice. it back out there and he hit it this time. All right. So I went to a chartreuse. You know what we say, it ain't no use if it ain't chartreuse. See if I can get him in the net. Get him? Nice job, Andy. There we go. I'm That's on the board. mama. All right. I'm on the board. Nice job, buddy. Front hook again. Yep. Nice work. Thank you. Al's on. Take your time. Whoa, I turned it. Al, hopefully we got it on this GoPro. Nice, Al. Andy just caught one. Now Al's on. Check it out, guys. We're right downtown. This is so cool. There's a million people here. I'm gonna move us a little bit left here for you. There you go, he's gonna jump again. Oh, he's leaving. Nice work, gents, nice work. Good job, Al. Another nice mama. All right, here Keep her coming, Al. Oh, not ready yet. Nope. Tighten that up a little bit for you, just a little, just a little. That might, that might. Andy, which side do you want me on? You, wherever. Just, All right. Just tell me if he's close, and I'll jump. Here he comes. Here he comes. Al's got a big mama. Yeah, oh, look at that tail on Woo that. Woo, yeah. All right. This is awesome. No PB right here. Uh oh. Uh, I don't think it's as big as your last one. You don't? No. 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 Now pull left. Yep, go left to Trot. Yep, low and left. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yes, Andy! Oh, nice job! All right. Beautiful. Oh, it's, it's heavy fish. Oh, yeah, that's a nice big fish. Nice mama. On the old square bill. Look at that beautiful fish. That's a heavy fish. Beautiful. Nice job, Al. I hope you have a nice catch. I'm going to fly the drone. Bye, friends. Oh, my wave. Yes. A few minutes later. Well, that's a picture of my drone. It's in one of these trees. This is why I don't fly the drone. Because I just crashed it in a damn tree. It's going to be interesting trying to get the drone out of the tree now. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. So much for that drone. I guess that's why I got insurance. Uh, die on you? She gone. Uh. All right, guys, so we are casting cranks. And then when you see schools of fish, I get eight pound test, a spawn bag, a little split shot, float, and uh, we finesse fish. You can do the same thing with a hair jig or a tube jig. Got him, got him, got him. I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking, Al. I was looking at the live scope. Al's like, there you go. Big fish, big fish. Nice fish. 
I definitely want the float. Now, finesse fishing them. They want that float. We got Andy in the back tying up spawn bags so he can get in the game. He just hooked me up. Oh boy, this is a good fish. He's staying down. It's a good fish, Al. All right, let's see what it is. I'm thinking big brown, Al. What do you uh, think, big brown? Uh, bluegill. Okay, okay, I like it, I like it. I'll take a big bluegill fights like this. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. One more time, one more time. Hold on, hold on. Here he comes. All right, Al, I got him. Thank you. Appreciate it. I was not paying attention for that. I was like, there you go. I was staring at that damn live scope and I felt the fish pull on my rod. I'm like, that's bad, Al. Look at that. Nice little male. My two favorite ways to catch browns in the fall. Finesse fishing them with a float. And like I said, underneath that float, you can put stuff like this, guys. You can put little little orange jig, a little white tube jig, little pink jigs, marabou jigs, and you finesse fish that tube jig if you don't have spawn. But the other bait is a crankbait or a spoon. You can come fish all this stuff right here from shore, spoons, crankbaits, but my favorite two, one-two punch, square bill, and then finesse fishing. Andy's on, Andy's on. We got no GoPros rolling, but that's all right. That's all right. Feels pretty good. Love it, love it. We're on the bottom. Were they? Was what was that on? A scribble. Oh, hell yeah. It came off the bottom. No there's, way. There's two on the bottom. I casted that direction. This feels pretty good. All right, dude. I like it. Feels pretty loose. What's that? He followed it up and then took off. When you were reeling my bait in? Yeah. No, what the? Yeah. What the hell's going on? Oh, that was your bait you were reeling. Al's just know. hooking us up here. All right. Not bad. No. Little, little nice bigger. little guy. Uh, Little mama. Swing her right over here. I'll just grab her. Little mama Sita. That's all right. A little bit of a egg donation. Yes, sir. Thank you, mama Sita. Yeah, we got a good donation going today. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. All right, guys. So what we got going on now, It's we've been here for about six hours. Put the beat down, but we got rain coming in here. We caught plenty of fish. Had a great day. We caught rainbows caught pike, caught browns, caught my two favorite ways finesse fishing, a square bill and the spawn under a float. So Big Al, hey, Big Al broke his PB today and caught some really nice fish. I'm glad to have you on the boat. Got my, and my right hand man, Andy. I couldn't do any of this stuff without him. He helps me out all the time. Thank you, Andy. Hey guys, leave me a comment. What is your PB Brown? Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button because we are trying to teach you new content, new things to catch these fish every single week in our videos. Hope you like this week's video. Time for us to go watch the Packers game. That's it. See ya.